What's up, what's up? Welcome to another Drone Bee Daily. And we have some excitement today. We have a new champion, Ignis. And all we know, based on looking at the blog, is the strategist has arrived. He offers double loyalty for, for life. And yeah, so um, I unlocked him last night. I wanted to wait to make this video until I leveled him up some and had some opinion on him. And I have done both. I've leveled him up to 26 and I've developed an opinion. Uh, one thing, guys, check that out. 1000% Ignis Hero XP modifier, just like they did with Luna. So this might be here for a week, it might be here for a month, but it's going to go away soon. So uh, yeah, definitely if you if you think you want to get them, there is a benefit to getting them sooner than later. Because that 1000 XP comes in handy. I leveled them up pretty much just from like six Empire quests and uh, using chances on my hero quests. Um, yeah, also I did attack... I used his um, MP very efficiently, so every time I leveled him up, I attacked monsters. And that allowed me to pretty much get this tier 3. I'll hit it today. And the tier 3 prize on this one is another building unlock. So if you missed it last time, you have a chance here if you unlock him. If you don't unlock him, I don't think it's possible, because you need him um, to get the monsters. Yeah, the monster points. Uh, oh, I didn't even look at his the title you get. Let's check this out real quick. It is a Ignis Champion Gold Medalist, six percent medal requirement, hundred fifty percent Ignis XP modifier, seventy five percent max MP multiplier. Cool stuff. If you are in a newer realm and Ignis is not available, uh, there's a good chance that you'll have a Prompto Grand Entrance event or perhaps a Luna Grand Entrance event, depending on your realm age. So if you don't see Ignis, he'll, he'll show up in your realm eventually. Don't sweat too much. Enough delaying, let's check out his skills, guys. Let's check it out. Double loyalty for life. Cool. So, right off the bat, if you think you want to get the double loyalty pack, don't get it, just get uh, Ignis instead, because you get that with other stuff. So he's kind of, um, he, he's made the, the double loyalty pack pretty worthless now. <laughs> I, I maybe you want both, actually. If you want both, you probably get 300%, uh, so three times what you would loyalty. Cool stuff. He has farm production. This applies to both wheat, or I guess uh, corn, wheat, food, everything. It's... Any far, anything your farm produces. That's nice. We've been... Anybody who's tried to keep up with wheat upkeep and things like that, uh, <laughs> it's hopeless, but, you know, he gives you some little chance, I guess. Research cost efficiency. It seems that you get 1% per level. At least so far, I've gotten 1% per level. So it's up to 7% cost reduction. Uh, the max is 50%. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That, it doesn't help me out very much because I don't uh, do very much research. I maxed all my, my normal speed up research and now I'm just waiting to buy research scrolls. So that'll come in handy whenever I guess I do research. Uh, we've got trap attack. Pretty big percentage boost for trap attack and trap HP. But I haven't had too much success with traps. It seems like they don't quite kill that many troops. So, you know, right off the bat, I saw that and I'm like, you know, that's interesting. Maybe somebody could go really heavy traps, and maybe, maybe if you have a trap account and you have these maxed, um, don't don't quote me on this because I don't really know. But if you max these and you had, you know, sentinel gear, it would be interesting. It it could work, and then, like, get Ignis to level 30, 
max all that. I don't know. It's something to think about. It's probably not good, actually. <laughs> I don't know. But I guess it's an option. Uh, what I was initially saying is I don't know how valuable these really are. I'm not going to level them at all. Uh, food capacity, that's cool. I guess, I mean, I'm not going to use it, but maybe it's cool. <laughs> I'm not leveling it. Research speed, this is perhaps his greatest skill, guys. This is where he lives up to his strategist's name. We have 32% basic research speed, 16% royal, 5% exalted, and that's at level 10. If you look at the maxes, they all go up to 300%. 300%. That's that's pretty pretty huge. So for one pack, I was able to get all these. Um, the 7% research cost reduction and double loyalty. So he is he does have some value if you're, um, you know, yeah he's some value. You might want to consider him over other packs. If you're looking at you know which which way to go in the future, but we're not done with them yet. Upkeep efficiency, nothing too spectacular, but I guess every little bit helps. Analyze weakness. This is an interesting skill. It converts 19% of all your well at this level. It scratch it. It converts a portion of your basic research speed into additional attack. If you max it, it converts 60% of your basic research speed. And I have it at level 19. It converts 19%. So if you're building Ignis for an attack, I would I would max this one. Uh, it'll just give you a little extra attack. I, I would prefer that over the trap building, the the trap capacity. I would prefer that over this right side. I would go research speed, analyze weakness, and then these airships. And whatever the minimum on this side you need to do if you're building them for combat. Uh, we have airship armor, 31% at level 4, which is easy to get, 9% HP at level 4, and 13% attack at level 5. Interesting. Airship. So so if you're Merc Heavy, he buffs the airship Mercs, mercenary troops. That's cool. I, you know, very specific. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not all mercs, it's just the airships. And where are you using airships? Uh, you're using airships most likely to take out guardians. So that would be strong empires that have a lot of guardians defending them. That would be crystals. That would be... Yeah, that, that's, I guess that's about it. Strong empires and crystals. So he could be a crystal champion if you get him leveled up enough. Throw some uh, guardians with him, ton of airships, and then those new mercs that are like equivalent to uh, 100 times T5 troops, the ridiculous ones that if you send one troop at an empire, you will burn it almost guaranteed. What? <laughs> it's true though. Yeah, and what makes him the most interesting and you almost have to get him to level 50 in my opinion master tactician we have 200 percent warrior attack 200 percent mage attack 200 percent cavalry attack and 600 percent siege attack he's uh... he's making the siege units almost a viable troop because if, if you know if you're anything like me you can't really use siege for very much they don't work for attacking strong empires they don't work in the crystal there aren't very many uses for siege except for the Magitech realm. You give that extra 400% attack. It's interesting. Uh, I'm intrigued. Call me intrigued. <laughs> so that is Ignis. I like him. I'll, I'll let you guys decide for yourself if he's worth unlocking, though. There are, depending on where you're at, what other champions you have, you might want to skip them. If you've got Loon unlocked, she's probably better for trap accounts, I'm guessing. And Luna might even be better for the crystal. It that's debatable. That yeah, that that is debatable. I'll let you guys decide how valuable the airship uh, buffs are and, and of course this master tactician is pretty awesome. So maybe he is if you get him at level fifty, he might be worth it uh, at the crystal. Something to think about. 
The double loyalty is cool. Research reductions are cool. He levels up super quick with this 1000% XP modifier. Cool thing, guys. And I was dreading this. Are you going to need medals at level 4, at level 9, at level 14 like Prompto? The answer is no. He doesn't need levels. I haven't needed levels yet. I'm guessing at level 51 you'll need your first medals for him. And that makes it that makes a huge difference on whether personally I would not have unlocked him if I knew he needed medals every 5 levels. So <laughs> definitely I wouldn't have unlocked him. I, in any event, I pretty much just unlocked him for this video. I'm probably not going to use him all that much. Um, yeah, how I'm going to level him, guys, is I'm going to attack my farm over and over. I've got 2 million siege that I made. Uh, I actually just made it because I wanted to, to flex my muscles on power rankings back in the day. Because <laughs> siege, you get more power per troop. So, but I haven't used them at all. Like, they just sit there. They're wasting space. They make me look scary, but they're wasting space. So I'm going to sacrifice probably about 2 million leveling up my champion. And, yeah, so there he is, guys. That is Ignis. Um, depending on when you're seeing this, there is this Ignis Grain event. Yeah, I briefly touched on it earlier. Kind of cool. And, oh, another another news, we have this gift exchange extravaganza. I've been experimenting. Luna, every once in a while, will give you a gift, a gift to give a friend. Now, when that's active, I've been making new accounts. Start new account. If you level up the account, you join a guild. At, like, Citadel 2 and joining a guild, it offered the Luna gifts. And I set my main account as my favorite and sent the gifts to this account. So it's a free way to get some gifts. Uh, it's actually even, the gifts, are, the gifts are okay, but the reason I was really doing it was earlier for this gift exchange to try and, I hit the tier 2, I didn't hit the tier 3, but you know, at tier 2 you get some some stuff, nothing too spectacular, but, but it's there, and you get the gifts, so... Yeah, it's something you can do if uh, it's only worth doing when the Luna gift is active. I don't know, it's probably not active right this second. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. Ignis is pretty cool. I'll let you guys decide. Joan V out.